Welcome to By Excellence Tutorials. And in this video, we are going to solve a, a linear momentum question. Yeah, this is linear momentum question. And by the way, have you subscribed yet to the YouTube channel? If you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly do so. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. And if you are going to find this video to be helpful to you, kindly share, give it a like, comment. We will really appreciate. So a moving sphere has a head-on elastic collision with an uh, initially stationary sphere. After collision, the kinetic energies of the two spheres are equal. Show that the mass ratio of the two spheres is 0 0.1716. Okay, so here what we have, we have two spheres, okay, so we have one sphere that is moving with that speed, and um, this one is, okay, let's say it's the second sphere, mass two, this is mass one, mass one is moving with an initial speed u1 and mass 2 is stationary so initial velocity for this uh, mass 2 is equal to zero because it is here in a stationary position so we start by uh, writing or putting into consideration the conservation of linear momentum so conservation of linear momentum so i'll say conservation use black conservation of linear momentum okay so what we have under conservation of linear momentum is that the initial momentum the summation of the initial momentum should be equal to the uh, final momentum in the system so or linear momentum is supposed to be conserved so what we have is mass one is moving okay with that speed plus mass two should equal to their final speed or final momentum meant to say. So mass two was initially at rest. So this is equal to zero. So what we are going to have, this equation is going to be like this. So let this be our equation one. And then we've been told to say after collision, the kinetic energies, okay? After collision, the kinetic energies are the same. So the kinetic energy for, for the first sphere is equal to the kinetic energy. So this having that, right? Okay, this is one, two, and two. So their kinetic energies are the same. So what we're going to have is m1 v1 squared being equal to m2 v2 squared. Let this be our equation two. Okay, so we have done that. So we can put equation two into equation one. Is it? Okay, so what we are going to have is M1, U1 being equal to, oh no, okay, so let's not put equation two into equation one. Let's write another equation for the conservation of kinetic energy, okay? Because this, we've been taught to say it is an elastic collision. So, Kinetic energy as well is conserved. So what we're going to have is conservation of kinetic energy. It's going to be half mu squared plus half m2 should equal to the final as well. Okay, so this is V2 squared. Okay, so this is zero because the initial speed was zero and then the halves are gone. So we are going to have M1 
V1 squared being equal to M1 V2 squared plus M2 V2. Okay. So, what we're going to have now, okay, so here that's where we can put equation two into this equation three. So MV1 is equal to MV1 squared is equal to M2V squared. So we're going to have M1 U1 squared being equal to two M1 V1 squared like that. Okay, so we've we pressed here. So M1 and M1 goes. So we are going to have M1 squared being equal to 2V1 squared. So this is a relationship that we have. Okay, so V is squared, so we can factor out V. So we have 2V1. So this is our equation for the relationship. So now we can say, what about the, sorry, the coefficient of restitution, okay? So meaning we bring in the coefficient of restitution, of which is going to be, so this is uh, the equation of uh, the, the restitution, coefficient of restitution equation. And then uh, we have V1 minus V2 being equal to negative. For the second ball initial is zero. So we have negative V1. So V2, here we are trying to, to relate V2 and V1, okay. So V2 is basically going to be uh, is going to be U1 plus V1. Okay, so this is going to be our fourth equation. So we get this equation number four. Okay. And then we put it into equation uh, equation one. Okay, so we can first put equation, okay, this is five, five, because this is going to be four. Okay, so four into five, and then we put them into equation one. So this equation is going to look like, okay, U1 is root two, V1 plus V1. Okay, so we can we can find that whereby it's going to be one. Okay, so that's our V2, and then we substitute in V1 in equation one, whereby we have we have. Um, M1, U1, initial velocity for one, we found it to be root two, V1, being equal to M1, okay, V1, plus M2, and V2 is 2.4142 V1. Okay, so now uh, we can relate bringing this part to this side or subtracting both sides by M1 V1, where we have M1 root 2 V1 minus M1 V1 equal to M2 2.4142 V1. Okay, so here, oh sorry, this is M1. Okay, so we we have M1 root 2 V1 minus V1. 
going over to M2, 2.4142V1, like that. And then we branch root two, this one, get 0 0.4. Okay, so we have 0 0.4142, V1, okay, multiplying by M1 equal to M2, 2.4142 V1. Okay, so we divide throughout by okay, so we divide by 2.4142, this side, M1, and this side we also divide by 2.4142, M1. So that, okay, so without forgetting the V, V1, so that and that go, and then we have M2, M1 ratio giving us zero point one seven one five seven three. So M2 M1 ratio is zero point one seven one six when we round off there. So this we have shown. So hence shown. So the steps that you have to, to follow is my ones that you've been given according to the question that how it has been phrased. We know that this uh, motion is elastic uh, collision. We have elastic collision uh, where the linear momentum is conserved and also kinetic energies as well conserved. So you have to put all those uh, things into consideration and then you get to calculate and arrive at such an answer. Have you found this video to be helpful? Kindly give it a like, share and comment. Thank you so much.